Well, look, I've got several Moringa seeds left over from last year. So I'm going to just put some in, in the ground for the summer, for the warm months where they'll get wet. This is a wet spot. I mean, if they're going to be dying off in winter because they don't like the cold and frost, I may as well just grow them as a summer vegetable. <laughs> that seems to be a good idea to me. I mean, I can keep them indoors in pots, but that's all mucking around. I don't want to be mucking around all winter long. I'm just going to grow them as a summer vegetable. That should be lots of fun. This is a very wet spot. Nice damp spot that should get started here. I've got another garden too, and the old square garden. I shall put some in there. We'll see how they all come up. I just want them to grow like weeds and they can be spare greens if we need spare greens. This is a very wet spot that gets wet every day around this big uh, pile on here. And they can come up if a snail gets one, it might spare some of the others anyway. This is a lovely wet spot. Whoops, there. One of these moringas might survive. Oh, that's about it. Look, there's all sorts of things. There's a little borage I tried to grow, but it's not doing too well. This moringa should do better. In you go. Do well for us, Moringa, and you can give us some green leaves. Then you can die off in winter if you want, and you can be a lovely summer vegetable. I'll wet that now. I'll also plant some in my uh, square garden, and they can come up as uh, just summer vegetables. And viewer, we'll see how they go. This is a nice wet spot, and they won't have to worry about being thirsty in the summer. Here's the old abandoned square garden. I shall put some moringas around here and there. I grew some last year, but they didn't like the cold frost. They didn't like being frozen and, you know, they're just more tropical plants. It's not fair to them. Uh, well, I mean, to, to expect them to live through the uh, cold winters here. So I'm just going to grow some moringas as a summer vegetable. I'll just put them in. I've got all the seeds here. I'm just going to put them in here and there. And this little patch will be watered regularly and they'll grow for me as a, a green summer vegetable leaf. That should be fun. Of course there'll be some sna snail and slug activity but I mean I'm pl going to pl plant enough for myself and the snails. Here goes. Here I am planting Moringa seeds as a summer vegetable. I couldn't be bothered planting vegetable uh, moringa seeds and trying to keep them alive all year in the cold. And I'm sick of having them in pots indoors too in the winter time. I just want them as a summer vegetable and that's what I'm going to do. I've actually got some beautiful daikon radish seeds and they grow as big as your head. Each radish is as big as your head. I must plant some of those here as well. Radishes as big as your head. Some of these Moringa seeds will come up. As soon as I'm finished planting these seeds, I'll hose, it, hose them in well. Just an annual summer crop. You could probably do this in cold places in Northern Europe too. Like, well, Britain. Well, Southern Europe as well, but uh, some of the colder places. You should be able to get away with moringas as a summer vegetable. Oh, I'm going to have dirty fingernails after this, aren't I? Oh, it's quite warm today. Mmm. I should have my own gardening television show, shouldn't I? What about one in here? That should be a good idea. I grew a couple of in, in here last summer, but they didn't survive the winter. They got very miserable. I'm only growing them as winter, I mean, as spring and summer vegetables. The greenery. I know I repeat myself, but repetition aids retention when you're suggesting something. This is the last one. Let's hope in a couple of weeks time we have moringa trees and they will grow very fast. I'm going to water them in now.
should do well.